around us, around you and me, the worlds of media, science and economy are resounding with the prefix nano. All I hear is references to this invisible scale, a billionth of a meter, just a few atoms wide. The frenzy is global. Thanks to nanos, science and technology foresee a fascinating new world, infinite new research fields, and miraculous new possibilities. From materials to energy, the environment to medicine, via electronics and agriculture, nanos should make everything more efficient, more resistant, cheaper, and less polluting. Nothing in our world will be free from nanos, a prospect that sometimes appears quite alarming. Welcome to the nano world, to the nano worlds. Welcome aboard for a journey to meet the initiators, the pioneers who opened the doors to the infinitely small. Okay, um, the uh, meter, yeah. about this, yes. and then, then uh, one thousand of a meter is yeah. one, one millimeter, yeah. okay? Then the one thousandth of one millimeter is one micron, mm -hmm. one micron. Mm -hmm. then, uh, th then the one thousandth of one micron, micron is the one nanometer. Welcome to Nano World. Nano. Did you say nano? Being a novice, despite hearing the term left, right and center, I'm a little bewildered. It's time to look a little closer. Very, very close, in fact. Firstly, because nanos represent a scale of 10 to the minus 9 meters, a billionth of a meter just a few atoms wide. A nanometer is four silicone atoms side by side. On that scale, a speck of dust is as big as a planet. Between the macro world, our world, and the nano world, from the Greek meaning very small, there is the same relation as between the thickness of a finger and the diameter of planet Earth. During the 20th century, the quest for the infinitely small inspired many scientists and revolutionized our world from computers and nuclear physics to biology and the search for new materials. Today, a new adventure is underway, featuring nanoscience and nanotechnology, which include a wide range of disciplines all seeking to study and exploit the potential of nanometric matter. On this minuscule scale, will we be able to penetrate the secrets of the natural world and of matter itself, to realize perhaps the same feats as flies and walk on the ceiling, or to see our limbs regrow like the tail on a lizard, to make surfaces where everything slides like on a lotus leaf, or manufacture batteries as thin as a sheet of paper, yet as powerful as a nuclear power station, cables stretching from Earth to the moon, and molecular computers? To find answers to these questions, I first of all head for Japan to the Nagano province to attend a lecture given by the British scientist Sir Harold Croto, a nano world pioneer and one of the best known popularizers. Here like everywhere else, he's given a star's welcome and for openers, he gives me his vision of nanotechnology. 